are y'all in for a treat today. Everything that I'm cooking today is coming from the oven. I'm here with my friend Cheryl Day from Back in the Day Bakery. Cheryl sharing her recipe for my all-time favorite old-fashioned cupcakes. Mm. <laughs> I'm showing her a hearty lots of meat lasagna that can turn any baker into a cook. <laughs> Look, girlfriend. Then we're whipping up a zesty roasted garlic bread. Cut this in half, put our lasagna on the bread, and had a lasagna sandwich. Oh. So join us as we show you the recipes that we adore. Today, it's loving in the oven, y'all. Cheryl makes cupcakes like you've never had since your mama made them. Oh, thank you, Paula. And so you're gonna share that recipe with us, Absolutely. Aren't you? you ready? I am so ready. Okay, well, let's come on down okay. here. Okay. We're gonna start with um, cake flour. Oh, thank you. you. That's All perfect. right, so cake flour. Yeah, and that's I a fourth two. of a cup. Actually, what we're gonna end up with is one and three-fourths cup. Oh, so okay. Get this so we here. we have to have every one of the measuring cups to measure out that right, one, don't we? Exactly. I have found that the all-purpose flour will add that stability that I want, uh -huh. but at the same time, the cake flour will give it that fluffiness. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. I have never mixed flours mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So good. That's the best so. of both worlds. So, so there one is and three fourths one cup. and three fourths cup of cake flour. That is correct. And okay. then we're going to do one and a fourth cup of our all-purpose flour. OK. All right, so that's my one. OK. And Paula, if you would for me, we're going to need um, two cups. Now, I know this is going to be unusual because you're so used to creaming the butter first. Yeah. But right in the bowl, if you can measure me two cups of sugar. Sugar. Mm -hmm, just dump it right in the bowl. Okie doke. So we've got our two flours. Two flours and our two cups of sugar. And then I'm gonna need a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. I like to use the cake flour for this. It's not self-rising, because yes. I wanna add in the leavening to this particular recipe. Okay. Just dump it right tablespoon in. Tablespoon of baking powder. And then we need three-fourths teaspoons, so. Salt. Of salt. Okay. That's a half and a quarter. Now, let me tell you a tip. I was taught how to I would sift everything. That's how my grandmother taught me uh -huh. how to do, because mm -hmm. for lighter cakes. I found if I turn that on, I'm uh -huh. still getting that lightness and kind of getting it mixed. Just so I'll incorporating just incorporating the flour. Incorporating it and getting incorporating some air into uh -huh. it that way. So then next, we're gonna add the butter. And we've got two sticks of butter cubed okay. at room temperature. And then we're gonna add that in just a little at a time. This is so different. Isn't it? But I think I'm gonna like this. Now, I wonder if I can use this technique with like pound cakes and- You can. You can use it really with any of your butter recipes, I butter cake recipes. I am gonna try it the next time I make a pound okay. cake. Cheryl, we can both add. you and I have so much in common. I know it. It's something, and you have been such an inspiration for me. Cheryl That's trained in her grandmother's kitchen uh, the same way as I did. Mm -hmm. We have no formal training. That's correct. And you started back in the day bakery at the same age that I started the bag lady. Can we not 42 say what? Oh. years <laughs> of art. <laughs> so look how that's cutting it in. And basically what we want to do is we want to get it all in there, but we want the butter to be coated with the flour. Uh-huh. We're going to need to put four eggs one at a time. OK. And yeah. I kind of like to crack my eggs in a separate bowl. I do, too. You never know so what you're going to get. Yeah. So I can just kind of check them out. Mm -hmm. okay. But see how it's starting to pull together now? Yeah. All you cake bakers out there, I think you're going to love It's almost as this easy method. as a cake mix, oh, isn't it? Oh, it is from easier. Scratch. OK, the last one. OK. All right, I'm going to turn that off. And okay. Paula, if you would, just put, I like to put a teaspoon of um, our vanilla in, okay. right in our milk, because that kind of saves you a step. So we'll I do, do that, that sometimes too, and yes. That's just good. To, good vanilla. There we go. All right, and so then just a little mm. at a time, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the milk. Uh huh. It's starting to look like a batter, right. Cheryl. Okay, I think it's done. I think so too. It's a beautiful batter. Thank you. 
and we're going to scoop that into our muffin mm -hmm. cups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, in every cupcake you make in that bakery is made, made by this. Made from scratch. I don't use any scratch. mixes. We've just been committed to doing that. Well, you know, that's why people appreciate you so much. Can you help me scoop these I in sure here, will. Okay. And you know what? This is a great way to measure them out. So I think so. You do a level. I do a, a level. level scoop. Well, I just want to make what sure it's about. What ounce is this? I think it's about three ounces. That's what I thought, mm -hmm. about three ounces. Yeah, that that's just perfect. Because you don't do want some cupcakes mounted up no. and then some flat. So exactly. Great way so to we're measure. All set. So okay. shall we pop these in your oven? Absolutely. Here? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna put these at 325. It takes about 17 minutes or uh -huh. so. Pop them in. 325, about 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. We are fixing to have some fabulous cupcakes, <laughs> y'all. Coming up, it's a stick to your ribs, lots of meat lasagna. <laughs> Look, girlfriend. And later. I'm loving this roasted garlic bread. This was my piece of bread. <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm in here in the kitchen today with my friend Cheryl Day. I'm sharing with her my recipe for lots of meat lasagna. So in our pot, we're browning off, y'all, one and a half cups of ground chuck. And then we've got a pound of ground Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. Now, Cheryl shared with me over the break, y'all, that she didn't even know how to cut an onion. That's true. So we're gonna dice up one onion, okay. Cheryl. You just cut that onion slap in two. Lay it on its side and do cut it in strips. Okay. Then turn it around and come back cutting the other way and you'll have little diced up pieces. Okay. So try your hand at All that, right. girl. Oh yeah, that's easy, Paula. See how easy that mm -hmm. is? It looks perfect. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get that, that little bit of garlic in. Garlic smells good. So get that in our pot. Okay. Just take your, there you go. Scoop it up. So now we're gonna add our seasonings. Okay. We've got two teaspoons of oregano and one teaspoon of basil. So toss we just it toss it in. Okay. Now, if you've got fresh herbs, you'll just have to remember your fresh herbs are not as potent as your dry herbs. Okay. So you'll probably need to use like twice the amount. All right, let's put a little salt. Okay, just about a pinch. Oh, no, more than oh, a pinch. A, lot. Oh, a, a big pinch. Oh, and another pinch. Okay. And one, like, okay. one more pinch. <laughs> and how about grinding us up some fresh okay. pepper? So you can grind it straight into the pot, or you can grind it into the cup, mm -hmm. and then just take the cup off. Gotcha. All right, now let's start adding our wet ingredients. We're gonna use a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes two 16-ounce cans of tomato sauce. And depending on your store brand, uh, you know, the ounces may vary a little bit. And then we're gonna add one 8-ounce can of tomato sauce. So we need two and a half cans. And then we're gonna add one 6-ounce can of tomato paste. And your tomato paste is a real concentrated mm -hmm. tomato and it's gonna make our lasagna very thick and very rich. Yum. All right, let's put the lid on it now, Cheryl. Okay. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. Our next step is to mix together the custard part for our okay. lasagna. I'm gonna use some cottage cheese. Okay. About one and a half cups. Okay. And I'm gonna use about five ounces of a grated Parmesan cheese. And then we've just got some fresh parsley. I've got two eggs over here that we're gonna mix in with that cottage cheese. And this will make it- Some the, body? Yeah, or? it'll give it some body and kind of hold it together and let it stand on its own. Okay. All right, so we're just, just gonna mix that together. And over here, I started grating up 
a mozzarella cheese because we're gonna need this when we start layering our lasagna together. So, I've got a pot back here of our sauce Cheryl that's been cooking. Great. And you can see in there. And if you'd get out our dish. Okay. And while we're layering this together, I want you to tell everybody about your wedding day. We got married right in the bakery during the middle of lunch rush two years ago. What happened was we were gonna get married the week before when we were on vacation. And for one reason or another, we just didn't do it. But I had picked up the marriage license from the judge that happened to be one of our customers. <laughs> and he came by that Saturday and said, oh, how was the wedding and everything? And I knew I couldn't tell him a tale. So I said, well, Judge, we didn't get married. And he said, well, I've got my vows and my robe in the car. Do you want to do it now? So I hollered to Griff in the kitchen, and my sister came out, and she had flowers from pulled them out of a vase. And someone had a camera, and we just pulled it together. And you know, we're so in love. It didn't really matter. You know, only right somebody in the restaurant business <laughs> <laughs> could appreciate that story no, because Jamie, you get so yeah, busy. You do. <laughs> All so. right. I put just a little bit of sauce mm -hmm. on the bottom. Okay. Then I put a layer of our custard on okay. and our mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to come back. You know, and there's no right or wrong to this. Right. So I'm going to let you take over from okay. here. Okay. These are great. Aren't these great? And they fit in here perfect. Cheese. And we don't want to skimp on that cheese, so I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna reach around there. Oh, that looks so, so good. Okay. All right, now we'll just dot this, okay. just like that. We're gonna put a little bit of cheese on top. Okay. We're gonna bake this for 45 minutes right. at 350. In the oven, it goes <laughs> just that quickly. Great. You have Griff a fabulous meal. And you can even freeze if you've cooked too much, mm -hmm. you can even freeze freeze it after it's been cooked. Yay, Just I'm so serve excited. Just serve it right up. What about the cupcakes? Come on, girl, okay. give it well, up. I'm give gonna it show up. you a few little tricks. Give it up. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> She's gonna show, show us her tricks. <laughs> <laughs> up next, just wait till you taste my mouth-watering roasted garlic bread. Cut this in half, put our lasagna on the bread, and had a lasagna sandwich. Oh. And later, mm -hmm. We're frosting cupcakes, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Hey, y'all. Today's show is loving from the oven. Everything that we're cooking today has gone through our oven. Cheryl is taking out that wonderful lasagna, and I'm getting everything ready to share with you a wonderful little recipe for zesty roasted garlic bread. Okay. Now, we are gonna start with a fresh garlic bulb. Mm -hmm. We're gonna just cut that top off. Okay. Now, all we're gonna do, Cheryl, is just put about a tablespoon, a couple mm -hmm. of teaspoons of olive oil right okay. on top of that so it can creep down into the cracks. Perfect. So all we're gonna do is wrap that in the foil and we're gonna roast this in the oven for like 30 minutes. Okay. I've got us two sticks of butter here that's kind of softened. So all we have to do now is take our garlic, open it up, Mm. Now, all we're gonna do is just okay. take our garlic and we're just gonna squeeze, just squeezing it out. That's great okay. how it just squeezes right out. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna mash this. With my hands? I don't oh, know okay. about you. Yeah, you can use your <laughs> I hands. Do. I do a lot of things with my mm -hmm. hands. I said some of the best kitchen tools uh, ever invented, God gave us. Absolutely. So I'm just gonna wash that excess off. I'm gonna toss in the fresh parsley. Okay. Now, do you want me to mash the, those yeah, pieces? Yeah, just kind of mash so it. So they're kind of chunky. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna toss in 
just a little salt, and I'll grind you up some pepper. All right, now I have sliced our bread horizontally, and we're just gonna take that garlic butter, and we're just gonna smear it on this bread, and we're gonna stick it under the broiler. So this is enough for my, me. Are you gonna have some? One is for you, and one is for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, we are a match made in heaven, <laughs> honey. Smear it. Smear it. Just smear it. We bring out the worst or, or the best in each other. I don't know which it is, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. I'll let you have a little extra part. Okay. The thin piece is mine. Is that what you're saying? There we go. <laughs> this is going to be sinfully, mm -hmm. sinfully delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna put this in the broiler. Okay. We got our lasagna out and it's rested for a few minutes. So let's stick this under the broiler, Cheryl. Okay. And we're really gonna have to keep an eye on it. All right. So Cheryl, you watch the bread and I'll be cutting us up some lasagna. Oh, good. I'm just gonna kinda take my knife and go around the edges to loosen that. Mm, 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 mm. Look. Look, girlfriend. That looks good. <laughs> That's your piece. It's got just the perfect amount of thick layer. Cheese. Of cheese. Ooh, 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 ooh. And up comes little fat girl's piece. <laughs> Is the bread about ready? Just about ready. I think I'm well, going to bring it, it on up here, okay. honey. Because I'm ready for it. All right, now. This was your piece of bread. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what would be delicious? If we cut this in half, put our lasagna on the bread, and had a lasagna sandwich. Oh, that sounds good. You want to let's do it? Yeah, let's do okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, girl. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh, Paula. <laughs> Here's to us, Cheryl. We earned it. Mmm, we earned them. Mmm. Thank you so much for teaching mm -hmm. me how to make this. We'll be back in a minute to taste those cupcakes. Coming up, y'all, frosted cupcakes that's gonna tickle your taste buds. I'm gonna take sprinkles and tint them with pastel colors. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Finally, we started the show with these cupcakes, and we're going to end the show with these cupcakes. This is just your simple butter confectioner sugar icing with that a little we all vanilla, love. right? But what I wanted to show you, I don't like those sprinkles that you just get, those stock colors. I so don't either. I don't either. I remembered that my mom used to make these little candies and tint them with pastel colors. So I said, why couldn't I do the same thing with sprinkles? Mm -hmm. So all I do, Paula, I'm going to let you um, fill up a little okay. bag. These are just plain white. All right, now where can everybody get these? There's a lot of places online that you can get them. Just look for, you know, white okay, sprinkles. Is that enough? That's good. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. All right, so now here's the little secret. This is also something they can order online. It's mm -hmm. just a powdered food coloring. I've never heard of a powdered Rather food. than a gel, but I mean to tell mm -hmm. you, this goes a long way. It does. All you have to do is put a doll up. Oh, no. I was all, just fun in you. All you have to do is put a little <laughs> drop in there. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, a little bit goes, goes a long, a long way, way, and then you can always come back. Just close it up, and Paula, all you do is shake it. But Look then, that's at that. a pretty color. See, that's perfect. That's perfect for a baby shower for a mm -hmm. little boy. Then I brought these little things. These are just little flowers to go on, and I thought we'd have ourselves a little decorating party. Oh, my goodness. I'll let you sprinkle and do whatever you want to. Okay. But I wanted to show you one last little trick. Now, you know, I okay. taught myself how to decorate yes. these. So they look a little bit different. Let me scoot around here. Beautiful today. colors. 
all they do is, um, all you do is take them, mm -hmm. and then I just do a little, just try to make it look like a rose, a little dollop mm -hmm. in the middle, and then you just kind of go around with the petals, like that. It's beautiful. So oh, Paula, that's beautiful. I want to try. Try you one. You know I want to try. <laughs> so get your little middle part. Get up part. there. Yep. You gonna turn it? It's mm -hmm. not time to no, turn it. <laughs> there you go. See, that's cute. It looks like a little flower. It looks like a little homemade rose. Mm -hmm. All you do is stick your little leaves on there. Uh huh. And who's gonna tell you that's not a rose? Well, yours is much more beautiful than mine. I think yours is. But gorgeous. I think I could get there eventually. Look, I'm gonna use some plain ones and cute. Well, I'll taste, I'll get rid of this flower. <laughs> Shall we finally yes. have a cupcake? To Cheryl Day and Back in the Day Bakery. Bring the bakery mm. to your house. Mm. 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 <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>